I want to thank everybody who has been praying for me and my family and for anyone on this channel. It is the greatest form of payment that I can ask for and receive for the ministry and uh, the work I do for the Lord here on this channel. So thank you. The attacks have been out of control and this is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to post as many videos as I would like. However, I invite you to join my Zoom calls because I have been doing those every week on Saturdays and on Sundays. So send me an email if you want to participate and I do several teachings. I continue to share what I hear from the Lord as well as the revelations from the Holy Spirit. It's also a time of prayer and sharing some testimonies from other people on the call. So please join us on the Zoom call. The Lord has given me a great revelation, which is part of a series of revelations which you have watched on this channel on who the Antichrist system and main characters really are. And this is nothing short of incredible because this is not my wisdom. I don't take credit for myself. This is not something I figure out on my own. But I'm simply led by the Holy Spirit to see these things and to share them with everyone else as a warning and as a reminder that the Lord is faithful, His word is true, and He is coming very soon. The main message of this video and any video is that you not, do not trust a man, do not trust me, any man or any women, but instead go back to the word of God, which is the only authority that we have. And unless anything I say or anyone else's say is proven to you directly by the word of God and by the Holy Spirit teaching you, you are prone to be deceived. I don't say this lightly. I say this in love and with great care because the teaching of the Holy Spirit is the only truth. And you do not need a man or a woman to teach you anything. But the Word of God, the 66 books, the King James Bible, and the Holy Spirit, this is all you need to know whether something's from God or not. I received this message on September 3rd, 2023. You've done well, son. Now write my words. For I am at the door, and I come soon. Even now, for it is written, Not by bread alone shall men live, but by every word which proceeds, in parentheses, out from the mouth of God. For God is spirit, and in parentheses, and you shall worship him in spirit and in truth. Now write, son, that I come quickly. I am at the door. The Jewish man I have shown you comes quickly, even now. Beware, in parentheses, his power is in his hand. Rest in my blood. For you are covered by it, not of works, lest any man should boast. But I call you to obedience. Rest in me, all is well. The beast rises, and with it the other. Listen not to the voice of man, for time, in parentheses, is short. I love you, son, worry not. Retire now, son. Love, Lord Jesus, Yeshua, Holy Spirit, Abba, Amen. Share the message. And the message ended at 1.52 p.m. The Lord has been clear that no one knows the day and the hour. Instead, the Lord is calling us to obedience and to abide in Him so that the Holy Spirit will show fruits through us. This is His work and not our work. And by showing fruits, we know that we are abiding in Him. This is done through obedience and through reading His Word, which is the unleavened bread, which we're commanded to read every day. So I'm inviting everybody to return to the Word of God, not to listen to men or women, 
not to be looking for an exact day or hour, but to know that we are in the end times because he's giving us signs. However, there's more series that I'm working on, and one of them, which has to do with King David, will show us that we will see very likely the first, the second, and the beginning of the third beast, which is connected to this message before the rapture can occur. Now, please wait for that series. And also know the Lord is calling me to speak the truth on the gospel, on the truth of the gospel, because there's tremendous amount of deception. And as I said, you don't need me to learn the gospel. But what you need is the word of God and the Holy Spirit teaching you, as the Lord t tells us in John 14. So as you remember from a previous series, I was given a vision by the Lord in prayer. And in this vision, I was seeing Steve Jobs with his partner, Wozniaski, when they, start, they started the company. I later found out that it was 1976. In the same vision, I was pointed out to Noah Arari. And in the same vision and the same study, I found out it was born in 1976, which was confirmed by Steve Jobs and Wozniaski. That vision as well, I saw a flag with the number 13 on what looked like the moon. And so studying the possibility of that representing Apollo 13, that was staged in 1970. All of that led me to understand that was the 70th week of Daniel, which is Daniel chapter, chapter 7. And in that same series, it was revealed that Daniel 7, 6 had to do with Arari because it speaks about the third beast being the leopard which connects to the vision I received on October 2nd of 2022 when I knew barely anything about Arari, let alone it was born in 1976, and I was shown Arari with a leopard on a leash. So I invite you to go and watch this series because this is the connection the Lord made, 1976, Arari, third beast, the leopard. I was then shown in Genesis 7-6, that there is an additional con connection, which is in Genesis 7, 6, we hear about Noah being 600. This is when the flood starts. Now we do understand that the flood will start in the year 2027. That is because the year 2027 is most likely the year 6,000. And we know this because in Revelation 20 verses 2 to 7, we see the word 1,000 years six times. That's not in verse 1, so we count from verse 2. Verse 2 to verse 7, six verses, 1,000 years is listed six times, pointing to the year 6,000, which is the year of the flood. We also know this from Revelation 12, verse 15. 12 plus 15 is 27, where the dragon will start a flood to try to drown the woman, the remnant of Israel. And therefore, we understand that 2027 will be the year of the flood, which will be the midpoint, most likely, of the tribulation. Now, because of that, Harari will be 51 in 2027. But in Genesis 7, 6, we hear that Noah is 600. Well, as we've seen in another video, 51 is 50 plus 12 months, and 50 times 12 is 600. In the same series, we were revealed that in Revelation 7, 6, Noah Arari is actually mentioned through the mentioning of the three tribes which are surrounding the city where he was born, which is, which is Kiryat Atta. And so we now understand the great connection between 76, 1976, the year he was born, and the several books in the Bible where it was already inscribed that we would come to the understanding of who this man is so through this the lord led me to first chronicle 6 verse 76 and in that verse we read and out of the tribe of naphtali kadesh in galilee with their suburbs and hamon with her suburbs and kiriataim with her suburbs this is verse 76 in Kiria Atta Im, which is the name of the town where Arari was born, is mentioned in this verse. As I saw this, I was absolutely blown away 
mostly because I wasn't even going to read First Chronicles and expect anything that had to do with the Antichrist system. But instead, I was on my way to Ezekiel to see if perhaps I was led to study something there. And my Bible opened on First Chronicles verse 76. However, there's something more, because when we read the full verse, it's First Chronicles 6, or 1-6. And 1-6, we now know, points to 61. And in that verse, it's mentioned the city of Hamon. Hamon also is the same as Hama. 61 is the year in which Barack Obama was born. Ama is built into his name. So I was led to see that these two individuals will form part of the highest possible level of the Antichrist system. Now I can't say exactly who is who and which role exactly they will fulfill, but we know that they will be part of it, if not being the very Antichrist and false prophet. Now I don't know for sure how these individuals will fulfill their role, but we do know and understand that they will be part of this and this is so that we all know that we were pointed this in First Chronicles 6, verse 76. Not a verse that anyone will ever read with the understanding that has to do with the Antichrist. And so it can only come, and I do know that it does come from the Holy Spirit leading us to see these connections before they happen. Now, when we look at both of these men's date of birth, one is born on 2-24-1976. The other one on 8 4 of 1961. 2 24 is 2 times 24, 48, which is 1948. 48 is also reverse 84, which is the 84 years you're familiar with if you've been on this ministry for enough time. The other one is born on 8 4, that's 84, which is 48. 8 times 4 is 32. 1948 plus 84 years is 2032. Please watch this series where I explain this in detail. In the same verse, 1 Chronicles 6, verse 76, we find these two men, and we understand that the date of birth both point to the same exact timing, again confirming who they are. If this wasn't proof enough, after remembering the vision I received where Steve Jobs was presented to me as a confirmation of 1976, that Arari was born in 1976. A very short time ago, a friend of mine showed me that the very first Apple computer, whose symbol we can very easily associate with what happened in the garden, sold their first computer in 1976 for $666 with 666 cents. This is to tell us that the Lord is at the door and he's asked me to share the truth about the gospel and Satan is doing everything possible to prevent me from speaking the truth. I won't be speaking only about the end times. The end times are just so that we know the time is short. Instead, I will be speaking the truth of the gospel, which as I said, you don't need me to teach you, but I will be reminding you that you will need to go back to scripture and study for yourself. Anything else is doctrine of man. Any other attempt to understand it on your own, on our own, is a doctrine of man. Instead, as it says in Matthew 7, 7, ask and you shall receive. Only if we ask, the Holy Spirit will teach us. So please look out for the next teachings where I'll be teaching about salvation, marriage, divorce, and other important issues the Lord is asking me to ask him so that I can share with everyone else. I hope this message was a blessing. I pray that you're all blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.